continuation. Okay, first what I'm doing is I'm getting all the headings, column headings. So that's what the table, table one. See, T head, TR and TH. Understand that, yeah. So table, T head, this one. Then TR, these are all the TH. Each TH is one column name. Okay, column header names, table headers, these are all. Okay, so this table header name. Let's say all this, I'm fetching all these names, table header names. So I'm getting all of them directly with the driver.find elements and column list, column header list basically. So then, System dot out dot print. I'm just printing the number of columns and iterating them and getting the each column text get text method I'm using. Column dot get text. Fetch all the rows in the table. Fetch all the rows in the table. List web element rows list equal to driver dot find elements by dot x path table t body tr so getting all the rows <clears throat> how many rows are there in the table one get all the rows and for web element row colon col collection this collection so then if you want each row text row dot get text the entire row text you will get so this entire row text you will get. That's what this is doing. Then iterate all the rows and columns. See this? For int i equal to one, i less than rows list dot size, i plus plus. Each row, so you can get all the columns again. So this column list. So you can iterate the columns. See, this is the inner for loop, outer for loop for rows, inner for loop for columns. So so here I'm using C, ith row and jth column. So cell data, I'm calling a get table cell data method I have written. So what this method is returning? String data, each cell, the row count and column count you're giving as a parameters for this method. And this will generate, see this is the how to parameterize. So the TR place, what we are doing, double quotes, plus row plus double quotes. This is how to parameterize the X path. So tomorrow you give row a different value, it will take automatically. You don't need to hard code. Hard code means you don't need to fix the value. You can parameterize your X path like this. So how to parameterize anything, any index, how to parameterize the square brackets, double quotes plus your parameter name plus double quotes. Same way TD also. So TD square bracket, double quotes plus column plus double quotes. So this is the auto parameter. You are not fixing the value for the rows and columns. So that's a you can pass whatever, see that. So I'm passing here, see. I'm not you know, hard coding here. So whatever the I value, that I value will come. Whatever the J value here, J value will come here and fetch all the rows and columns of data. This method is going to fetch for you. This is how you need to create the methods. And they say, get a table cell data. I'm giving here hard coding. So, but not hard coding, the parameter values I'm passing here. Parameter values I'm passing here. So that's a one, basically getting the data from the table. So you can change also this one, uh, getting the data from the table. So that's the one thing. And the rest of the two methods are very important. So I'm sorting the due column in ascending order. See that? This due column, I'm sorting in ascending order. See now ascending order means lowest to highest, right? So that's what, how I did this. So refresh. 
So now this is not sorted. I'm clicking on this column header. Then it is sorting. So this functionality, you should know how to sort. If you click one more time, it will sort in descending order. So this is, this is the steps you should understand functional flow. Then it is easy to automate. Just click, you know, get the, this uh, value. So maybe through, right? So you can write the XPath or CSS, whatever. This is the CSS. You can use this CSS also. Okay, so then you can uh, click on that. So that we have written already, and I'll show you that, how to do that. So maybe I took for table two, and uh, so this is the one, dot find element by dot CSS selector, hash table two, that means tag name, hash ID value, then T head dot deuce. This is the class value, tag name dot class value, tag name dot class value. So I'm clicking on that. So the second table I'm clicking. So this table, this table do amount. So you have a class, uh, class dues. So I'm using that. So this T head, so dues. Okay, then fetch all the dues into collection. So that entire column, so data you fetch into collection. List web element, dues, driver dot find elements, a group of elements if you want to fetch, I already told you, find elements method you have to use. Then by dot, so CSS selector, Table two, T body dot dues. If you give all the, see, if you give this, so it, it highlights the all the dues column, entire dues column. See this now. See all columns are, so this is the each, it is highlighted. Even in the bottom also you can see this, right? Only these values are highlighted. So this is the X, so the CSS we need to write like this. Okay, so table ID, then T body, T body inside. Okay. So T body, then TR. So T body dot deuce. If you write automatically, it will get all the data. So this deuce data. Yeah. So any questions? Okay, so you got all the dues and I want to store, okay, so you're getting this format, right? $50.00, $51.00, right? So I want to make sure those things I want to refine. How to refine? Refine and store in another collection. So that's what I'm doing here. So to store, I'm taking another link list. So list double. So this is the wrapper class. Due values equal to new link list double. This is the generic uh, formats. So I'm, I'm iterating for web element. This one I'm iterating, this collection. Web element, element, colon, collection name. So this, I'm adding, I'm adding each value to this D values. What I'm doing, see now I'm refining. So double dot parse double, this element dot get text. 
So element dot get text, what you will get? Dollar fifty dot zero zero you will get. So that what I am doing, double dot parse double what it will do? Well, convert to convert this string into double double format. So then what I am doing on this string, I am replacing dollar empty. So this is all I am doing in the single line. String, get text will return a string. String dot replace method, replacing the dollar with this one. So I got the string, final string, I'll get a 50.00. So that I'm storing in the this collection, all the values. Then what I'm doing, then I'm iterating this, this collection to check, to check. So whether it is sorted in ascending order or not. So how can you check ascending order? The first value should be less than second value, right? Yes. The first value should be less than second value. So our second value should be greater than previous value. So that's how we can check. But so we always check. So the first value is less than the next subsequent values. So how to do that? This is the one I, I took this. So for loop, int counter equal to zero, counter less than this collection dot size minus one, counter plus plus. So I said that, so this is all Hamcrest methods I'm using here, Hamcrest methods I'm using. Due values dot get counter, so right, collection dot get, so this counter value, is less than or equal to less than or equal to due values dot get counter plus one. So always first value is less than or equal to second value. So that's a is less than or equal to method I'm using. So is method inside you have to use again less than or equal to method. For that you pass uh, this uh, collection dot get method. So this is how to sort the column values. Then next same, sort the so values in the descending order. Same thing, same thing we are doing. And uh, so again, fetching all the values and same procedure, but here is greater than or equal to. So the second value, the first value should be greater than or equal to second value I'm saying. That's the only thing, okay? So those are the methods, default methods in the Amcrest. Yeah, default method is in the Amcrest. Same you have, no, email also I'm ascending order. So I'm fetching a email value. So into that, and then I'm just asserting that also. Emails dot, emails is a text, right? So text, how can you do that? Get dot get text compare to emails dot get counter plus one dot get text is less than so the previous one. So that's the how you can uh, check. So compare method you are using here and uh, so that you are checking the previous one is less than the so next one or not. So that's how you can you know, check this. Let's go and run this program. So this is handling web tables is a very crucial interview question. So don't neglect these questions, all these interview questions. Make sure you practice very well and that will help you answer in the interviews. If you're really attending interviews, so this make sure you take up all these questions. I don't know whether you are noting down or not. Again, don't ask me questions. I, every topic wise I'm telling. So you need to keep those things in your mind and make a note. So then it will help you to crack the interview. So right click, run as test in this.
Oops, what happened? Testing the exceptional. So can you somebody tell me what is the reason? Package name testing spelling mistake. Hmm. Package name is wrong. So this is a wrong. Okay. So all these exceptions you remember. Okay. You can tell all these exceptions I got during my automation so that they will be happy. So you ought to remember these exceptions, what are all the different exceptions we have got it. See each test case, it is going there and coming back. All our parts. Yeah. So that's all about web driver. So we have completed thoroughly the web driver. And tomorrow we'll see hybrid framework. Okay, any questions? So I don't know how many of you practiced